Good morning, folks. We kicked off the day with a five-pointer off the Oregon coastline, well above average. There was a hailstorm in Malawi yesterday, just more wild weather for this part of Africa. It's been flooding for weeks, and here's a before and after of Mozambique. We had a mass fish die off in some isolated parts of Vietnam, where fishing is life for those locals. Cyclone Phelang about to buzz between Reunion and Madagascar. Let's hope that eye wall misses land. Other top news story, literally on my doorstep. This elongated low pressure system allows tropic, temperate, and arctic air to have a little social hour atop our heads, and they are a messy bunch. Sun's not up in the U.S. yet, so we'll need your tornado damage reports from last night and today as this thing moves east. I'm at the black marker, so literally, on my doorstep. Dear Sun, what the heck is going on? You can find extended periods in the recent record low solar minimum where the sun was more active than this. Previously stated concerns about a coming ice age weren't unfounded before NASA joined the worry, and now that they have, it's still valid. No flaring, solar shutdown. Our lone chance at changing that lies on the northern hemisphere swinging in, but it's just beta and in need of some development. Looking at SOHO, this dark arm holds the opaque disk blocking the sun and it's relevant today because our line of sight puts a sun diving comet just north of it, headed in while we went about our days yesterday. We have been watching that eastern limb as well because of some massive filaments. Folks, I can't believe this one didn't eject yet. The longer it waits, the more earth directed the CME could be. Now in addition to these plasma filaments in that northern active region turning in on the eastern limb, you can see some dark coronal holes. The leader is set to face Earth today nearly square on the equator. These coronal holes are a piece of the earthquake watch and early February appears to see a few pass our eye. But it's not just coronal holes coming in early February, the planets will play a role as well. While Mercury and Mars heliocentrically conjoin today, that is they line up as seen from the Sun, I'll flip this around and put Earth back there, zooming out tilting. You can see Neptune down here and as I bring us forward into February you can tell that Mercury and Mars will geocentrically conjoin Neptune and then, as seen from the Earth, they will conjoin each other. Got a full moon around that same time, conjoining all of them. Here are the planet positions through early March. That strong watch period to kick off February will coincide with those coronal holes I showed earlier. We should see our first uptick in six magnitude quakes or higher leading up to the new moon on the 10th, maybe a day or two afterwards. Shots of our star to close out today. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.